Good morning, Warriors. I'm Zach Bowen. And I'm Jaden Boggs. Today on Warrior News, birthdays, Warrior updates, the menus, sports schedules, and pop culture. Here is this week's birthdays. Tomorrow and Wednesday, Mr. Moyer will hold show choir auditions after school from 3.15 to 5.15 p.m. So if interested, make sure to sign up at the web address below. Speaking of our choir department, tonight they will perform their Christmas concert at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. We're looking forward to hearing some great holiday tunes. Here's a message from the guidance office. Five steps to earn a scholarship. One, start early, begin your search for scholarships well in advance of the deadline. As some scholarship applications may require additional steps, materials such as essays or recommendation letters. Two, research your options. Look for scholarships that align with your interests, goals, and qualifications. You can search for scholarships on websites such as FastWeb or Scholarships.com or visit the guidance website at WalvaseySchools.org. 3. Read the application instructions carefully. Make sure you understand the eligibility requirements and application process for each scholarship you are interested in. Pay attention to deadlines and follow the instructions for submitting your application materials. 4. Be organized. Keep track of the scholarships you are applying for, including the deadlines, requirements, and materials you need to submit. This will help you stay on top of your applications and avoid missing any important deadlines. 5. Apply for many scholarships as possible. The more scholarships you apply for, the better your chance of receiving one. Don't limit yourself to just a few options. Apply for as many scholarships as you are eligible for. And be sure to trailer your application materials to each scholarship to show why you are a strong candidate. Looks like Mrs. Palicki enjoyed her experience in the welding shop last week. In her words, she experienced something completely out of her comfort zone. Luke Sharp helped her with this experience. Looks good, Mrs. Palicki. Thank you to Key Club for an exciting penny pitch this year. Here are the final results. A total of $1,737.69 was raised. Mr. Long's first period class raised the most money with $369.50. Mr. Van Loo's first period class raised the most per student with $30.64. Enjoy your breakfast and thank you to all that donated this year. The art department is requesting anyone to save clean bubble wrap or clean styrofoam packing peanuts from Christmas unwrapping presents trash pile. They can recycle them for future sculpture forms, texture, and taking ceramic projects home safely. Please bring them to the art classrooms when we return from Christmas break. Also, the Pet Portrait custom Christmas socks are available in the art room through Thursday. They are $10 a pair and they make a great Christmas gift. A friendly reminder to dress up this week for Christmas. Today is holiday PJs. Tomorrow is ugly sweaters. Wednesday is Santa's workshop. Thursday is class colors. Seniors are red, juniors are green, sophomores are white, and freshmen are blue. We want to thank Mr. Feldman for his heroic work last week. We are incredibly proud of you and are grateful for the example you have set for all of us here at Wallace. 
Another friendly reminder, if you need to see Nurse Brenda, you need to fill out the Google form first. Nurse Brenda will send you an email when she is ready to see you. Now, here's Sydney with your menus. Let's look at what's on this week's menus. Menus are subject to change. All breakfast meals are served with grab-and-go items. Tomorrow for breakfast, Uncrustable Big Bite Sandwich. Wednesday, French Toast Bites. And Thursday, Biscuit and Gravy. And then Christmas Break. For lunch today, Shrimp Poppers with Cheese Stick or Quesadilla. Tuesday, Chicken Bacon Flatbread or Mexican Pizza. Wednesday, homemade chili with Bosco stick or Polish sausage on bun. Thursday, chicken tenders with sauce or mac and cheese. And Friday, there will be nothing because it's Christmas break. <laughs> Enjoy this week's breakfast and lunch and make sure to tell staff thank you for doing an amazing job. And now, back to the studio. Thank you, Sydney. Now here's Jet with Pop Culture. Today in pop culture, a book series turning into a TV show, a celebrity leaving a popular network. But first, let's take a look at the new Mario Bros. movie trailer. Super Mario Bros. movie excites long-lasting fans as this embarks on the first Mario franchise original movie. With Chris Pratt as Mario, the brothers must help the princess defend her kingdom from an invasion by the dreaded Bowser. Coming to theaters April 7, 2023. His Dark Materials is a new TV show streaming on Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO Max based on the Philip Pullman's epic His Dark Materials fantasy trilogy comes the compelling HBO Max original series that follows young orphan Lyra, Daphne Keen, on an incredible adventure to a parallel world where human souls exist outside one's body in the form of talking animal. We can't go back. The doorway between worlds has been opened. I've traveled so far. I found myself here. You have come here for a purpose. I don't know who to trust anymore. You can trust me. Finally, someone else to talk to. The fate. 
many worlds may rest on you. For celebrity news, Candace Cameron Burr has left the Hallmark Channel after 13 years earning the name Christmas Queen to another uh, work, Great American Family. Candace stated, it didn't work out with Hallmark, and, I just happened that my, and it just so happened that my contract was expiring when Great American Family started. The faith-promoting company plays holiday specials as a part of its schedule. This has been your pop culture update. Back to the studio. Thank you, Jet. Here's Braxton with the sports schedule. Here are the upcoming events for this week and over Christmas break. All events are subject to change. Tomorrow, boys basketball will travel to Columbia City. T Wednesday, the boys and girls basketball teams will travel to Central Noble, and the varsity wrestling team will host Concord. Next Wednesday, the 28th, the varsity girls wrestling team will travel to Penn. Girls basketball will travel to compete in the holiday shootout. In game two, JV and varsity will face Huntington North. Then they will face Norwell. Gymnastics will travel to compete in the Elkhart Invitational. Next Thursday, the 29th, the varsity wrestling team will travel to compete in the Al Smith Invite. Next Friday, the 30th, the varsity wrestling team will continue to compete in the Al Smith Invite. And the boys basketball will host a varsity holiday tournament. Heading into the next year, Swim and Dive will be traveling to Northridge on the 3rd. Wednesday the 4th, Freshman Boys Basketball will host East Norble, our first home game of 2023. Thursday the 5th, Gymnastics will travel to Carroll, and the Varsity Wrestling Team will travel to Northwood. Friday the 6th, Boys Basketball will travel to Northwood, and sa Saturday the 7th, the Varsity Wrestling Team will travel to compete in the IHSWCA State Duels Invite. Swim and Dive will travel to Goshen, Boys Basketball will travel to Homestead, and Girls Basketball will, will host Northwood. Let's get out there and support our Warriors. Back to the studio. Thanks for watching Warrior News this week. Signing off, I'm Zach Bone. And I'm Jaden Boggs. From the CPG TV studios, we thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy your Christmas break, and we'll see you in two weeks for more Warrior News. <laughs>